Hi. So today I wanted to talk about self-care and how that is such an important part of big love. You know, when I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis a little over 15 years ago, the rheumatologist sent me home with a stack of pamphlets. And as I browsed through them, I realized and sensed even that the side effects would be far more detrimental than me choosing perhaps an alternative way of going. And again, that was a choice I made for myself. I'm not saying it's for everyone, but it was what I felt called to do at the time. I ended up finding a naturopath in Arizona where I lived at the time, and uh, he was also versed in applied kinesiology, which is muscle testing. And uh, through that skill set, I started to learn how our body talks to us. You know, he would take a vial of, say, uh, gluten and put that against me and my muscle would go weak, which would show I have an adversity to gluten. Uh, and then he would find a supplement and to say, hey, let's go ahead and help your adrenal system. And then he would find the right supplement that way and test how many I needed and for how long. And, and after a few weeks, I saw the results so quickly. Now, mind you, I'd seen some other physicians up before then, even some much other natural doctors, but they weren't using this mechanism. They were throwing 30 bottles of supplements at me, and I was like not eating nothing but vitamins and, and so forth. But this mechanism showed me how my body was telling me we only need one of these. And then three weeks later, I might go see him, and I was done with it. It was so cool because I realized how sophisticated our system is. I mean, we all get those internal nudges of do this or do that, but when your physical body is saying, hey, take this, and you watch the magic that happens from taking it, you didn't really need much more proof. Anyhow, um, after I had began that process, I decided to do a little bit more research on why I had um, the rheumatoid arthritis had you know, shown up in my life. Uh, and I found some of the emotional components and, and quickly became aware of that. But on the same side, I also realized that because I was low on energy, I had to be very careful on what type of um, life situations I was gonna allow my energy to be given to emotionally as well. So I started having a visualization that my life was kind of like an old fashioned cafeteria tray. I had only so many slots to allocate for different you know, components of my life. My family, my kids, my partner, my health, and then whatever else I wanted to put, if there was room for it. In the beginning, there wasn't. And so I stopped saying yes to the things that didn't resonate with me, and I didn't let guilt, and I didn't let uh, you know, what people thought keep me from saying no if it didn't feel right because I knew I'd show up and I would be without energy anyway and, and why would I do that to myself? And so looking back, I realized I was being shown how to love myself from the very beginning. And in the recent months, as big love has come into my life, you know, with, with uh, the way that it was presented, um, I see now the connections and how honoring myself for the last 15 years, layer by layer, led me to this space where that ultimately allowed me to love myself. I loved myself enough to take the supplements, to go to the doctor, to do the massage, to get the chiropractic work, to um, not say yes to something that wasn't congruent with what I wanted in my life. It was all so important and so I only moved forward on a yes. And that's been the biggest piece that helped me show up for big love. Self-care cannot be you know, overlooked. It is so important. And I, I see so many people when I talk to them that they will prioritize things. And as moms, we even prioritize our children's activities. We'll give each of our three kids three activities to go do. And we are so tired. Um, and exhausted that we have nothing left to give them, our spouses, or ourselves. We put ourselves last, and, and that's not right. We need to be first. We need to be first at all times in our life. If we're not, we're not good for anyone else. 
And so I really want to hit home this idea that taking care of you is the first step on that journey to big love. Because when you start showing your body that you love it, then other loving things start showing up in your environment and in your life. And you also become an example to your children. I invite you to try some of this on, on you know, whatever level you feel comfortable on. If you have any questions, let me know. You can comment below. And I look forward to our conversations. Until next time, I send you big love.